Folks, we need to make these chips here in America. President Biden just signed a bill into law today boosting domestic semiconductor production. The chip war is intensifying. It's the U.S. versus China. The U.S. is considering tightening curbs on the export of chips to China. In the U.S.-China trade spat, this time Beijing imposed export curbs on crucial raw materials essential for chip making in response to U.S. supply chain controls imposed on China. Why is the entire political world so focused on the U.S.-China chip war? It appears the fiasco is getting serious, but most people don't know what it really is and where it's going. Not only that, but only a few know why the U.S. initiated restrictions on high-tech semiconductor chip exports to China. What is it that's being kept behind the curtains? Well, both China and the U.S. have come to a confrontation now that leads to a dead end. First, the U.S. put restrictions, while China started pushing the U.S. companies to the sides. That became the very reason why Apple had to look to an alternative site in India to avoid being sacrificed in bans. But now, things really have gotten out of hand, as a perpetual cycle of bans and restrictions has started between the US and China. Yes, now you can understand how an uncalled war has started. Watch this video to understand what stayed hidden about the US-China chip war. We're going to tell you five things you should know about this to reach the core of the conflict. Let's get started. Number one, what is the US-China chip war? Back in October 2022, the US put restrictions on high-tech semiconductor chip exports to China. This ban was actually put on the companies working in the US to restrict them from supplying any type of chips to China. Not only that, but the equipment, like lithography machines needed to make chips, was also restricted to be supplied to China. As a result, China could not get the sophisticated chips essential for almost every operation that fueled progress. Neither could it get the right equipment to make its own chips. But why are chips so important? Well, it turns out that chips are used in every electronic product. And today, there isn't a single thing we use which doesn't have them from smartphones, tablets, computers, heavy machines in factories, electric vehicles, and energy grids to guided missiles. Everything requires chips. Therefore, depriving a country of chips means pushing it decades behind. But there is more to the story. These restrictions also applied to US citizens working in the Chinese chip industry. They were directed to pack up and come back to the US. Not only that, but to avoid any kind of bypass, the U.S. also directed countries like South Korea to stop chip supplies to China. It's because those chips are produced using American technology. Number 2. What has happened to date? First, the U.S. initiated the restriction rules, banning all companies from providing chips to China. But that was not limited to only companies. South Korea, Japan and the Netherlands also decided to follow suit and limit any chip exports to China. But that was not it. Restrictions were not only on chips. One month after the chip bans, in November 2022, the US banned Huawei in the country, which is a China-based company. It even encouraged other countries as well. And hence, the UK announced it will start limiting the use of equipment produced by Huawei ultimately leading to banning Huawei completely. After another month, in December 2022, the US added about 36 Chinese companies to the export controls blacklist. The US Department of Commerce said that this was done as these companies possessed national security threats. During this time, China had not made any move. But in May of 2023, China finally decided to retaliate. It banned sales of Micron products in China and their use in critical infrastructure. It should be noted that Micron is a US-based chip company that earned 10% of its total revenue from China. But the ban was aimed to limit that. Soon after Micron's ban in China, its stock price dipped instantly, showing how companies were suffering from the chip war being fought between the two countries. But China did not stop there. It formally complained against the United States taking its case to the World Trade Organization. 
Their complaint revolves around the U.S.'s control over the export of semiconductors and related technologies. China argues that the U.S. is using export controls as a strategic move to maintain its dominance in key industries such as science, technology, engineering, and manufacturing. They further assert that these actions by the U.S. pose a risk to the stability of global supply chains. In response, the United States argues that the WTO is not the appropriate platform to address matters of national security. They emphasize the importance of protecting their own national security interests and justify the need to take decisive actions in limiting access to advanced technologies. It should be noted that China's complaint specifically points out that the U.S. has imposed export restrictions on approximately 2,800 Chinese goods, with only 1,800 of these restrictions being in line with international trade rules. Now, there's a 60-day window for the United States to attempt to resolve the issue. If no resolution is reached within that time frame, China can request the establishment of a panel to conduct a thorough examination of their case. An interesting development to note is the 2020 WTO ruling that declared the U.S. tariffs on steel and aluminum, implemented during former President Donald Trump's tenure, to be in violation of global trade rules. As things stand, about two-thirds of the goods China exports to the U.S. are subject to tariffs. However, the United States firmly rejects this ruling and has no intention of removing the tariffs, showing a strong determination to maintain the existing measures this shows that if the WTO rules this new case in China's favor, perhaps the U.S. won't comply with it. Now before we continue further, tell us, are you enjoying the video? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel for more videos on geopolitics and changing world order and power landscape. Let's continue now. Number 3. Why did the U.S. initiate chip restrictions? Advanced chips those technological powerhouses are the driving force behind supercomputers, artificial intelligence systems, and cutting-edge military hardware. They possess the key to unlocking the full potential of these transformative technologies, earning the status of superpower in the technological era. But here's where things get really interesting. The United States has raised concerns about China's use of these advanced chips, fearing that it may pose a threat to its own national security. Alan Estevez, the undersecretary at the U.S. Commerce Department, said that the chip rules were created to safeguard the U.S. national interests. He said that the U.S. carefully structured those chip restrictions to prevent China from obtaining sensitive technologies with military applications. Estevez emphasizes the urgent need for the U.S. to adapt swiftly to the ever-changing landscape of threats. These updated policies act as a robust suit of armor, fortifying the nation against potential dangers. In a defiant move, China launches a counterattack, denouncing the U.S. controls as technology terrorism. The clash between the two sides becomes a war of words, an intense duel where fiery rhetoric is used to underscore the magnitude of their disagreement. But things are not as simple as they seem. Understanding how mere chips possess a national security threat is essential. An article by Foreign Affairs reveals what many media houses have failed to show. The U.S. is putting bans on chip supply to China because these chips power artificial intelligence, which is the atomic bomb of the future. In this article, a deep comparison has been made between AI and atomic bombs and how both can be destructive. Since chips are required to train AI, the U.S. does not want China to have chips. Having those high-tech chips will allow China to train its AI models precisely, harnessing the capacity to literally make anything it wants. This AI technology can give China insights into how the very people in America think and make choices. In other words, the U.S. wants to be the sole possessor of the new technology that can make or break the world. Number 4. China's Recent Curbs on Gallium Perhaps now, China knows that it cannot bring the U.S. under any international law. Even if the WTO gives its ruling against the U.S., no one can make it comply with the decision. Therefore, China has decided to go with a tit-for-tat strategy. In its recent move, China has decided to ban gallium exports to the world. Here's how it works. If China is restricted from importing chips and chip technology, China will make it difficult for the world to produce chips. It's because gallium is an essential component to produce semiconductors, 
which in turn produces chips. It turns out that China's move is quite effective and more concerning than what it did in the past. It's because according to the Critical Raw Materials Alliance, China provides 80% of the global gallium. Some experts say that China's ban on gallium exports might not bring instant results, but in the long run, the chip industry will suffer. It's because at present, chip companies have vast stores of this element, but soon, as it runs out, they will need more gallium. However, some experts also suggest that China's move might not be as effective as expected. Countries like the US do not import much of this element and can find an alternative to be used in the semiconductor industry. No matter whether this is harmful or not, it's obvious that China is ready to go to all extremes in this chip war. And number five, the American counter with cloud blockade. As China has unleashed gallium and rare earth mineral export bans, the US has decided to respond with more bans. According to the Wall Street Journal, US lawmakers and officials are now preparing to ban China's access to cloud computing. According to this report, the Biden administration is working on a strategic plan to limit China's access to cloud computing services as part of their broader efforts to control China's access to advanced technologies. The reason behind this is that Chinese companies have cleverly found ways to bypass US restrictions on chips. This is done by renting cloud computing, often at a lower cost, effectively sidestepping the chip bans. To tackle this challenge, the proposed rule would require cloud computing companies to seek government approval before serving Chinese customers. The objective is clear, to restrict China's utilization of US technology for the development of artificial intelligence tools. Although the US Department of Commerce has not issued an official statement regarding the proposed ban, insiders suggest that the new regulations could be put into effect soon. In response, China has taken its own retaliatory measures, including a ban on exporting specific chip-making materials and chips themselves. This ongoing back-and-forth escalation exemplifies the ongoing battle between the two nations, as each side seeks to limit the other's access to crucial technologies. But what do you think? Who will win this chip war? Is the US in a stronger position because it influences chip companies and even countries? Or will China have it this time? because it can use the tit-for-tat strategy to ban U.S. companies and rare earth mineral exports. Let us know your thoughts on it and whether you think this chip war will have a winner or not. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. This is the channel where you can have all the crux about geopolitical subjects, which, intentionally or unintentionally, get ignored in the mainstream media. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned.